Family TV Mass is offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation. Good day, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the 30th Sunday in ordinary time, with the theme, the humility that makes us enjoy God's forgiveness. Today, we are also celebrating the World Mission Sunday. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Sanctuary of the Divine Word Chapel of the Diocese and Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King, Mission Seminary, A. Rodriguez Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Bell San Luis S. VD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass. As one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, uh, brothers and sisters, and good day. And um, <clears throat> we uh, again come together to celebrate this uh, Eucharist. And uh, it is a new day. And uh, therefore, again, every uh, morning, is always a blessing from the Lord. And also, a new day will also be a new life for us, life to change uh, for the better as we grow in the Eucharistic celebration. Now, dear brothers and sisters, gathered together by God's love to proclaim His praises, let us pause for a while and see what is there in us that displeases him. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The wise man, Sirach, reminds us today that if we want our prayers to be granted by the Lord, we must serve Him with all our heart and in all humility. Let us listen to the first reading. A reading from the book of Sirach. The Lord is a God of justice, who knows no favorites, though not unduly partial toward the weak. Yet He hears the cry of the oppressed. The Lord is not deaf to the wail of the orphan, nor to the widow when she pours out her complaint. The one who serves God willingly is heard. His petition reaches the heavens. The prayer of the lowly purses the clouds. It does not rest till it reaches its goal, nor will it withdraw till the Most High responds, judges justly and affirms the right and the Lord will not delay. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit He saves. The Lord redeems the lives of His servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Apostle Paul is in prison and senses that his life is drawing to a close. As a valiant missionary who has spent his best energies in the service of the gospel, now he sets his heart on the heavenly reward which God has in store for his faithful servants. Let us listen to the second reading. A reading from the letter of Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. At my first defense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them, but the Lord stood by me and gave me strength so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us honor the Holy Gospel.
from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Before ascending to heaven, Jesus Christ said, Go out into the whole world and proclaim the good news to every nation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. So then, the Lord, after he had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and sits at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today is a very special day for the church and This is uh, the uh, World Mission Sunday. Kaya po yung uh, binasa ko ngayong sa Ebanghelyo ay tungkol po dito sa sinabi ng ating Panginoon that we should uh, uh, addressing the apostles, go out to the whole world, make uh, disciples of all nations, baptizing them. So, uh, Uh, dear brothers and sisters, this is uh, what I would like to uh, share a v- reflection in this uh, my homily today. Alam niyo po isang linggo I um, <clears throat> said mass in our, our church dito po sa Kamuning uh, Sacred Heart uh, Parish. And um, after a couple, after the Mass, a couple came close to me and uh, uh, saw me in the, uh, in the uh, sacristy. Sabi, uh, sabi ng uh, laki, Father, um, kami po ay uh, mga missionary couples sa uh, PNG or Papua New Guinea. So uh, we are uh, doing missionary work there and uh, we'll be staying as missionary for working as, uh, as working as missionaries in this part of uh, Asia. So um, I said Napaka-bait naman itong mga ito dahil uh, sila, they uh, uh, left their families, they left uh, their uh, house, comfort uh, uh, in their house, and to live, and went to Papua New Guinea, a far-flung uh, place where they did uh, the missionary work uh, in the Bush Mission. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, today is Mission Sunday. And before our Lord ascended into heaven, uh, he said, go out to the whole world, baptize all nations and teach them. And he who believes and is baptized will be saved. So, uh, from then on, well, the uh, missionaries were the apostles. But we have to remember this, brothers and sisters, that when we were baptized, well, we are Christians, and not only Christians, but all of us are missionaries and to uh, follow and obey the mandate of our Lord 
to go out to the whole world teaching uh, the good news from the Lord and also in order that uh, you may become all Christians. Now, um, tayo po ang mga misyonero, huwag natin yung kaliligtaan na mayroong mga uh, full-time uh, missionaries. At sino po itong mga full-time? Yung po mga uh, paring misyonero at mga uh, brothers, religious brothers, and then uh, also uh, the uh, <clears throat> lay uh, sisters or nuns who go out to the whole world and uh, also spread the good news to others, especially those who do not know Christ. Alam po ninyo, mga kapatid, uh, nung ako po ay naordinahang pare dito sa <coughs> Christ the King Mission Seminary, and then in Tagaytay also, uh, actually our ordination was there. And um, when you are going to be ordained, then you have to uh, uh, make a choice what missionary place you will go saan ka uh, maging magmisyon ka nga. E ako po, ang nilagay kong uh, pupuntahan na assignment ay doon sa Mexico, Central America. But, um, you know, after my ordination, uh, then I found out that uh, my superiors did not uh, assign me to go to my first choice of going to Central America, that is in Mexico. But yeah, I was a little bit disappointed because I'm a missionary and I should be going outside to as far as is uh, Mexico. But yeah, <clears throat> alam po ninyo, uh, medyo sinabi ko na lang ng pabiro. Well, ako naman po ay uh, nakapunta sa Mexico pero ang napuntahan ko lang Mexico ay Mexico Pampanga. <clears throat> uh, pero sinasabi ko rin mga kapatid na uh, well, whether you're here or abroad and as a missionary, full-time missionary, it does not mean that you're no longer a genuine missionary because we all are missionaries at home. In my case, well, as a mission, missionary, my work is in the media apostolate. Kaya ito, ginagawa namin, ito yung uh, family TV mass. And not only that, well, I'm also helping our poor future missionaries uh, to uh, have um, funds for our so-called Adopt a Seminarian Scholarship Program para matulungan po yung mga seminarians uh, to become uh, priests and so that they will not be hindered by financial uh, difficulties. So uh, we are all missionaries and well, there are more lay people who are missionaries but who are not full-time and who are lay uh, missionaries. You know, uh, it does not mean, again, that uh, you have to go uh, outside uh, our country. Did you know that St. Therese of the Child Jesus, the universal patroness of Catholic missions, you know, she never uh, went out of uh, her, of her, uh, uh, of her convent because she was a contemplative nun and she never left the four walls of uh, the convent. Kaya, magtataka kayo kung bakit siya 
ay naging universal uh, <clears throat> patroness of the Catholic Church. Bakit ito ang ginawa? Siya pa naman ay contemplative. You know why? Because St. Therese of the Child Jesus was always praying for the salvation of the immortal souls. And for every uh, difficulties or for every work that she did, like uh, picking up uh, garbage or trash, inialay niya para sa mga uh, kaluluwa. And when she got sick, because later on she died of a sickness, she offered it this sickness, the pains and agonies that she went through in order that the uh, <coughs> souls would be saved. Now, I have here uh, some illustrations or pictures of what the missionaries are doing in different parts of the world. And this is a folder of illustrations or pictures that uh, I can show you about uh, the work of uh, many. Uh, here, for example, the Philippines uh, and Mindanao, you know, reaching out to children. And uh, here uh, we have also Holy Spirit Sisters, a missionary congregation. And uh, doon naman po ay yung mga uh, missionary in Africa. So also with this uh, here, uh, a sister who is helping a certain child. So this is just to show you where our full-time missionaries go and work uh, all over the world. So like I said, dear brothers and sisters, itong mga missionaries, ay, ito ay full-time. But uh, you, uh, lay people, uh, should also remember that you may not be full-time, but you are missionaries also to do something in order to spread the word of God and to uh, help those who are in need. Now, how can we be missionaries at home? Oh, um, well, of course, we pray for immortal souls, and pray for more missionary, uh, missionary, uh, uh, <coughs> missionary priests, uh, sisters, and religious brothers. Alimbawa, yung mga seminarians na uh, nandito, sila nga dito ang nagsaserve. No? They are being helped so that we will uh, uh, someday hope that we will be ordained uh, full-time missionaries. And then another thing that you lay people or lay missionaries, you can also help by sharing your financial assistance. Alam niyo po sa mission ay you go to far-flung uh, villages uh, that are not rich by uh, priests in the parish, uh, especially in big cities. So, kailangan din doon to put up, let's say, a chapel. And not only that, uh, to put up a school. So, in underdeveloped uh, countries, then uh, these missionaries can do something in order to be able to uh, fulfill what our Lord said, to go out to the whole world, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them. Now, um, today, 
this is an occasion, therefore, to help our uh, missionaries. Um, like I said a while ago, you know, missionaries need financial assistance in order to be able to be effective in doing their work in evangelizing people and especially those who have not known Christ. When we meet the Lord in the next life, can we say, I did my share in spreading your teachings and following your commands, O Lord. That would be a very good um, way of being a missionary and also at the same time that we fulfill what our Lord had said to go out to the whole world, preach all people and baptizing them. While we are still in this world, brothers and sisters, let us remember this obligation of ours as Christians, and particularly full, uh, full Christians, and also those who are lay missionaries. As the religious writer says, I shall pass this way but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do, or any kindness that I can show, let me do it now. Let me not neglect nor defer it, for I shall not pass this way again. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things, all things were made, made. for us men and for, and for our salvation. He came, came down, down from, from heaven, heaven, and by the and Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became, became man. man. For our, for our sake, sake he, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried and, and rose, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and, and I look forward for the resurrection, resurrection of the dead, dead and the life of the, of the world, world to come. Amen. Amen. Encouraged by the Lord's acceptance of the tax collector, let us humbly submit our petitions to him for the needs of mankind, especially of our missionaries. Let the response be, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and religious. May this see the growing need for the Church to constantly witness to a compassionate Christ whose forgiveness is toward us back to the Father's embrace. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For our world leaders, may they respond with wisdom and generosity to the present crisis caused by the evil of selfishness, greed, and exploitation. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all priests, religious brothers, nuns, and lay volunteers who work in the foreign missions, may they be brave heralds of the gospel and witness to it through a life that mirrors the values they proclaim. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. 
for new missionary vocations. May the youth of today respond generously to the invitation of Christ to proclaim their Catholic faith to all the people of the world. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the family thanksgiving prayer of Malu Agkawili, Liwayway Mascardo, Claire Esguera, Grace Aquino, Maria Cristina Samano, and Nemesio Alvarez. Personal and special intention prayer of Mylene Nubienko and Alicia Minor and family. Healing prayer for Alexander Agawin Jr., Ariel Hintoloro, Avelino Legaspi, Jennifer T. Tan, Kim Pizarro, and Patricia Lian Torres, and for the eternal repose of the souls of Angie Liwanag and Bernie Banyes, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and all the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Let me include also uh, uh, the following for the personal intentions. It's, uh, Lita uh, Ilano, uh, Bernadette Del Valle, also um, Joe Valencia, and uh, Rossi, uh, <coughs> Rossi's son, uh, Rosis uh, uh, San, Santu Fua, and uh, also for other intentions. Lord, your love for us is much greater than our sins. May you grant us the humility to recognize our shortcoming and the need for your mercy and forgiveness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, and the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service, may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending in death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with the angels and archangels, and thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Ernesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here and also those who are viewing us in, uh, through the live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your so mighty Father, forever and ever. And now let us um, pray together the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
Let us now offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. 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 This is our Lord Jesus Christ in the form of bread and wine. He gives himself as our spiritual nourishment. Happy are we who are invited to partake of this heavenly banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul Lord. shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use these medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray, pray for, for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray, pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calonso. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Redanimets. Pray, pray for us. Holy Family. 
pray for us. Prayer for the unity of the family. God our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them and their occasional failures. Instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter. Through Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that you may now celebrate, and we now celebrate also in science, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters, before the uh, end of our Eucharistic celebration, um, I would like to uh, acknowledge um, those um, who have helped us and also make an announcement and also appeal uh, for uh, our seminarians. So um, like to, I would like to thank uh, the uh, Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary, uh, Reverend Father Pablito Tagura, SBD. So uh, thank you. And the commentator for our Mass, our uh, frater or brother Manuel Lumboy Jr., uh, a commentator FFM. So, thank you. <clears throat> and lectors and servers, uh, brother Fernando Kabilan Jr., FFM. Oh, thank you. And uh, Brother Alexander Dario, FFM, also. <laughs> Special thanks to uh, Brother Richard Domingo, FFM. Franciscans, ibig sabihin po ng FFM ay Franciscan Sons of Mercy. Uh, and uh, Brother Ricardo is a general guardian and formator. Now, um, St. Jude Tadeus Vina Mass, uh, I officiate in the uh, <clears throat> I officiate in the devotion uh, every Thursday at 6 uh, p.m. Then followed by the Mass, and uh, this is a live streaming at Diocese and Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word YouTube channel, and. Uh, I would like to uh, appeal also uh, for our Adopt a Seminarian Scholarship, lalong lalo na po that we have made ourselves aware of today, uh, Mission uh, Sunday. If you wish to help, you may send uh, your uh, donations or financial assistance to so BDO. Account number zero 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 two two zero zero five one six two three, and also of course the account name is myself, 
Father Sabelo San Luis. My email is bellsvd at gmail.com. So appeal also for love offerings and intentions that you may send in your prayers of thanksgiving, healing, good health, financial uh, recoveries, and blessing. The contact person or uh, the TV Mass in Adapa Seminarian is none other than Brian Deguito over here. Uh, Brian. And, uh, and his uh, uh, mobile phone at uh, 0961 8118766. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, we thank you for the uh, assistance you, you have been giving to us and to our seminarians under the Seminarian Scholarship Program. And especially today, World Mission Sunday, let us uh, be more generous in helping our missionaries and our seminarians. Let us all uh, stand now. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace, glorifying the Lord in your life. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. This Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fueling Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation.